Okay, I'm back now. We are on like the second video of these lots. This is the black and cream lot. And we'll start right away in this lot, which like I said um, before, with they're $25 a piece with five shipping, $30 no matter how much they weigh. This is like the Swarovski netted choker necklace. It's really nice and light. So there's the first piece. Second piece is a statement piece. And of course, this is going to be heavy, but not too bad. Heavier, but it's gorgeous. And these little pieces on the back have some little um, padding on it. So this is beautiful. That's the second piece. That's a statement piece. I'll show you that one. Okay. The third piece. <coughs> Gosh. <coughs> okay. This piece is a milk glass pendant. There's no mark on it. That's in great condition. So that's the third piece. Fourth piece. It's a black and cream. It's very pretty. It's lightweight. Nice. Not too lightweight. It's very pretty. The fifth piece is tangled. The fifth piece is coming out of here a little later. It is a statement piece, even though it is on this um, ribbon. I think it's great. It's got these little nice stations here. The ribbon is new looking, so that is another piece out of here, that's pretty. All those little balls have rhinestone little pieces in them, I think it's very interesting. There's that, um, there's a pendant here, and it is a little flip flop. Then you get some little pierced earrings. They are little peace signs. Then you get two pairs of earrings. And they're cold. But I think they're plastic. I'm not positive. They could be glass. But they're cute. Very nice. And we have another statement piece here. That I love. I think it's very nice. It's in fabulous shape. There is no maker's mark. Um, the gold tone is perfect. Not nice. The gray and black. It's very nice. Then the last piece is a double strand. It's like kind of a bead of plastic. I'll double it over here. The silver tone on it is great. Just needs a little bath. So there's that. That's the black lot. Okay, next I have a teal and blue lot. And I'll show you that real quick. That's the teal and blue lot. So the first thing we have is a teal and blue cloisonne beaded necklace. It's the old style clasp. This is quite vintage. So that's your first piece of the blue and teal. Then you have these beautiful little clip earrings. These are darling. I have those here. 
Oh, that does neat. They're like seed beads to the extreme. Look like Cousin It. Little clip-ons. Those are the bags. Those are sweet. Then we have, let's see. I have another statement piece. I'm going to put it this way. It's almost kind of like got the little moon glowy jelly belly. This is a beautiful navy blue. The gold tone is great. It is really nice. Very pretty. Next, we have actually teal green, almost a lime green and blue with rhinestones. This one is Bobble Bar. I think this was the first one in that last video that I tried so hard to start. I like the chain on it. Bobble Bar is the extender. It says Bobble Bar there. Um, the chain is really nice. It's kind of the gunmetal bronze. It's really, really nice. So there's that. Then we have another statement piece. Right here. Now this one is not marked, but it does have a nice little extender on it. Let's do this real quick. The extender has a little bead on it. It also has the gun metal and it's really in good shape. That is light teal blue and a nice medium navy blue. The back is good also. Okay. And then more on the greener side is this it's plastic but it's seed beads. It has the clasp here. It's very nice. I like the gold seed beads. Looks great. Okay, the next piece is kind of the same colors. It might have sodalite. I'm not sure if these are real stones. Here, the green, but it is uh, kind of the rosary style with the clasp here. Then we have a vintage brooch. You can see the pen. Yeah, the pen is actually a C clasp here. There we go. And I thought it was just really, really pretty. And it's got like a jelly belly in the center. That. And then we have a, another statement piece that is on silver. These look like sea anemones. I think they just need wiped off. This is neat. You've got the crystals inside, the rhinestones. The silver tone is fabulous. So that's another piece. And then we have this piece here, which I think is really, really cute. I love the green. These have like satellite beads at the bottom that encircle the bead. Like that. So that is the last piece of the blue and teal. And I think we have time to do the cream. It is really, really nice. This is a nice set here, of course. First of all, we have these little angels, Give Joy by Kim Roberts. Rogers, excuse me. Next we have the Tangle. It is a rutilated It's rutilated, terminated quartz. It has the sticks kind of like pieces through it. This is cold and really soft. It's pretty. It's very nice. Not cool. That's the second piece. The third piece is a beautiful necklace. It is. This is not marked. We're tangled. Hold on here. Okay. 
I hate this. I don't like tangles. Okay, come on. Come on out of there. Okay. Especially when we're trying to hurry. Okay. Almost got it. Almost got it. There we go. This is pretty. It did have a tag on it. But it is not on there now. Let me move that over. This is dependent. It's very pretty. The chain is nice and gold. It's just really pretty. And the back looks good. Okay, so next we have these earrings and I'm offering them because they do say 925. The name on the back is FJ925. These need some OxyClean. So these, I'm just throwing these in. They need to be cleaned up. Okay, next is a pretty little wire wrapped um, sea glass piece. I thought it was kind of cute. Isn't that pretty? Okay, the next piece is a pair of earrings here that are real pretty burnished color. I think these are Liz Claiborne. Um, here are those. Next is a pair of Coro. These are the ones that keep getting caught in everything. These look like the little pea pods. I've seen these before. These are a little tarnished, but you know what? They're cute. These are Coro. Aren't they sweet? Wonderful. And they are screw bags. And Coro is on the back of the screw. There we go. Okay. Next, we have another beautiful necklace. It's very similar to the to this one here, but these are a lot whiter and a lot more translucent. The crystals inside are huge. This is really, really pretty. The gold tone is fabulous. It looks brand new. So that's another piece out of that group. Then we have this with the beautiful AB and regular crystal beads. I mean, it's a shiny. It's shiny. The gold tone is great. The beads are fabulous. It is a triple strand. And that looks like Christmas. Christmas morning. Okay. We've got two more. This one's fabulous. This is huge. This is just beautiful. You've got the creamy, light yellow gold with the crystals all around them. This necklace is great and gold tone and nice. And it is just too cool. This will look good with blue jeans. Blue jeans and a white shirt. really set it off. Now this one is pretty too. And it has all the rhinestones. Isn't that neat? And this is like a frosted gold. It's not turned or anything. It's just a, a more of a frosty color. You've got faux pearls and rhinestones. Just beautiful. And the back is really pretty too. And the, and the other piece is just too cool. And I put it in here because I thought somebody might really enjoy it. It is a charm bracelet. There is no name on it. It has the uh, double charms on it. It has some little beads here. They just feel kind of like plastic ceramic beads. And then we have a, a little push cart. And the wheels roll. The wheels actually roll. This is so cute. So that is the cream colored lot. We have a push cart charm neck uh, bracelet. You can actually push it and the wheels move. 
So I'm hoping that you can see that because it is so cute. Now it's got some really pretty crystal beads in there. So that is the cream colored lot and I will finish up with the next video. Thanks for watching. We'll be right back.